Morning folks and welcome back to the shack. Well I got an interesting parcel that arrived in the post the other day and it's always a good it's always a pleasure to uh, open up a parcel when it's got some uh, valves or tubes in it. Now these um, these things here are Russian miniature valves and I bought a load of these off uh, off eBay as they're dead cheap and I thought well uh, what can we use what we what can we use them for so I've decided to uh, build up a cheap and dirty AM transmitter and uh, I'm going to show you that in a minute uh, but I thought we'd have a closer look at one of these valves and uh, see what they were all about So this is a um, bit of a closer look at uh, one of these miniature uh, Russian valves and uh, this particular type is called a 6P30B-R and I've got it next to a EF86 so you can see the uh, the size. I mean it's not much smaller than a, than a normal size valve. Uh, but it's a lot. It's certainly a, slend, a bit more slender, and you'll notice that it's got these um, wire tube connectors rather than a plug-in type arrangement, which is seen on most uh, valves. And um, yeah, I thought I would uh, see if I could build up a, a transmitter using one of these. They're quite uh, for what they are. Uh, you know, given the size, they're quite pokey actually. So, one of these has an anode voltage rating up to about 250 volts, and uh, you can usually get about two and a half watts or thereabouts out of them. So, I thought what I might do is uh, maybe see if I can parallel a couple to get some useful power uh, to make a transmitter. Anyway, let me show you what we've done using these little miniature tubes and uh, see what you think. Right, so here we have it. This is my transmitter lashed up on the bench and uh, so far it does actually work. So as mentioned, it's all miniature valves, four of them in total, and at the back here, we've got a crystal oscillator. It's this whole transmitter is designed to, to be used on 80 meters on the sort of main AM frequency uh, uh, on uh, 80 meters, 3615, and In the foreground there, we've got the PA, a couple of tubes in parallel, if you can see that. And I've done it all on little boards as well, which makes it quite nice. I think one of the things with these tubes is that because they don't have valve bases, you can make them up on perf board. As you can see there, I've got couple of little Jackson trimming type pots you know which are sort of preset for the um, Pi uh, network on the output and as mentioned that's crystal oscillator and this valve at the back is our modulator so this setup is using screen grid mod so we've got a big audio choke there well biggish and we've got the um, uh, tube there which uh, provides the uh, modulated audio for the screen grid and the pot at the back that just adjusts our 
effectively adjusts our screen grid voltage on the PA and that's how we get AM so that is the whole transmitter for you all on a bit of perf board or copper clad board I should say now I have had um, I've been on the radio with this and it does seem to work it uh, it uh, produces about five or six watts and uh, the audio doesn't sound too bad so I'll give you uh, a quick demo and uh, we'll see uh, see what it sounds like G3YJO, good morning. Uh, GW0FZY returning. <coughs> yeah, I'm just coming on the um, with the home brew, just on the uh, um, dipole. So um, I'm, ho I'm hoping you might be able to hear me. Or obviously, I'm going to be a little bit uh, <coughs> lower in um, in power. But, uh, but uh, this is the, uh, the home brew uh, five watt transmitter the, with the uh, Russian. Uh, um, using a carbon microphone so the audio might be a bit scratchy um, but uh, uh, I hope you guys can copy me I'll keep this I'll keep this over short um, and then I'll uh, bring in Martin um, uh, just let you know Martin I know you've just uh, literally called in um, uh, this is a homebrew transmitter with um, uh, 6p uh, 30B Russian tubes, miniature tubes, uh, about 5 watts, uh, screen grid modulated, screen grid modulated. So with that, I'll put it over to you, Martin. G3YJO from GW0FZY. So I hope you enjoyed that little demonstration about what we can do with these uh, Russian miniature valves. And uh, I've just got to try and figure out now what I'm going to do with that. Um, could put it into a box, I guess. And uh, using a few more of these, we could build up a, a little receiver, a TRF, and put it all together and make a little transceiver. So that's one option. Uh, so they're quite uh, quite versatile little things. If anybody's also interested, uh, according to my research that I did about these tubes, uh, they're also quite good uh, in audio. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you want to build up a small low power audio amplifier with a pair of these uh, or a few of these, whatever, uh, they do actually work quite well apparently. So that might be something to think about for the future. Anyway, uh, till next time, thanks for watching and see you again soon.